Hey guys, it's Luke again, and welcome back to yet another Ninjaga video onto the channel today. So, wow, over the weekend, we got some a lot, a lot of season 14 information. We got a lot of it information. So, this is just probably going to be so long of a video. So, if I'm leaving some stuff out, please let me know in the comments because. I was offline during the weekend. I'm always offline during the weekends. So, there's going to be some stuff I probably forgot. But, the Season 14 trailer dropped on Saturday. On Saturday. And, wow. It was really good. I will definitely do a trailer reaction to it for my little trailer reaction series. I did one just last week for Prime Empire. Even though that technically already happened. <laughs> Thank you, Prame, for that comment that says, YouTube, most YouTubers watch the trailer as soon as it comes out. Luke watches it when it's already happened. <laughs> that was a really good comment. I really appreciate that. Um, so, this trailer is for Season 14, and it supposedly it's set on an island. On an island, right? And there are these people who the villain, main villains of, of the season are called the Keepers, and they believe in some sort of god, a storm goddess, which sounds a lot like Wohira or Wojira, um, whatever you want to call her, and um, they seem to treat Jay as some, like the, the human, like a human version of that, kind of like, um, for I don't want to use actual religion for this, but like the resurrection of Jesus Christ, basically. I hate bring up religion here because I know how touchy of a subject it is, but that's the best comparison I can make. But so basically they treat him as some sort of god and you know <laughs> and yeah, shit a lot of shit goes down. But then again, that's kind of the whole point of Ninjago is just shit going down at every single time. But yeah, now this is where everything gets a bit mu bit mushy because of the release date, and supposedly how many actual episodes there are. So, the so apparently, the first episode is probably going to release in February. In February. But, it's going to release as a 45-minute special. A 45-minute special episode. And, this seems to me that it's going to be a prologue. It's going to set up the season. It's going to set up season 14. Kind of like how the Prime Empire shorts tried to do, but ultimately failed. They tried to set up season 14, which I really like how they're trying to set up the season right now instead of just going right into it, which I think is a really good idea. I think it's a really good idea. But this led to a lot of confusion in the community that this is all we're getting of season 14. And... Um, it's going to do another day of the departed where it was originally going to be like this, but now it's like this, <laughs> which I know a lot of people were pretty disappointed. It's pretty much day of the departed 2.0 where the hype was unreal. And then we just got massively disappointed, but the, unlike this, there was no like circumstantial changes. Like for example, day of the departed really only got shortened because of the movie being delayed. So but nothing of that sort happened here. So, and it seems to be that some people are theorizing that uh, season fourteen could potentially be a March to the Only two point oh and have only four episodes. That's gonna be a bit weird because, um, you, you know how March to the Only was. You know it was kind of rushed in a little bit. It was kind of rushed a little bit because of the format, if it was, like, a, a couple episodes longer, it would have been a little bit, would have been better. Um, that's what most people say, not me, but, then, but, and Tommy Drayson is expecting a negative response from fans, and, um, is telling people to stay positive about it, which, I think he's kind of thinking about that, because he, because he got a somewhat mixed reception, to March the Oni, which had like a similar layout, and I think a pretty negative response for Day of the Departed. So 
it's not unusual for him to expect that. But we can like what and dislike whatever you want, Tommy. Just saying. <laughs> not disrespecting you. Just saying that you don't have to force us to be positive. But th- this led to so much confusion. And I'm just as confused as you are. I'm just as confused. I have no idea what's going to happen. And um, I really don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do to do, and I really don't know what to think about this, other than whatever happens, I hope whatever they produce is good, and hopefully they do a lot of great things in it, so that's really what I got to say, oh, and by the way, update, I took down my Twitter account, it it was just too toxic of an environment, so you can't follow me on Twitter anymore, so it's just Instagram and Discord. So I'll take down the uh, the little Twitter bird from my uh, the upper right hand corner where you see my banner at, or in the, the so I'll take that at down. So um, yeah, follow me on Instagram and friend me on Discord um, because you're not gonna be able to follow me on Twitter anymore because Twitter is such a toxic environment. I really couldn't stand the toxicity of it. Um. But anyways, what do you guys think will happen with Season 14? Is it going to be Day of the Party 2.0, March the Only 2.0? Do you think Tommy is right that a negative response is going to happen? And what do you think is just going to happen in general? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click on the red subscribe button, and click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see you folks in the next video. Bye-bye!